Hi, everyone. All right. It is July 23rd, 2018, and I am posting this without even doing much thinking about what I will say. I'm speaking just extemporaneously my thoughts. I was sent K Small's video by Enter the Stars Reloaded and I want to thank him for sending this to me and I want to thank K Small for posting this video because she really demonstrates the difference between asking questions and striking out with so much presumptive hate that the energy just kind of hits you in the face with a violence especially when you get so many leaving their presumptions one after the other communicating them as fact but they are so cruel that it's and it doesn't have anything to do with this uh, Jeremiah. It, it, it just comes from this, uh, this place that exists within a lot of people where they make these presumptions and yet they don't know the facts. So, here K. Small is asking questions. And I did get comments, so it's not just from uh, K. Small. Jeremiah upped his goal from 15,000 to 25,000. And I also, it might have been K. Small or somebody else left a comment saying that Jeremiah, his first goal was 10,000, then he upped it to 15,000, then he upped it to 25,000. And you know what? Jeremiah, I deleted my video because it's not okay. So now you have posted a couple of videos of these firemen at an apartment complex, and that doesn't cut it for me. A fire report coming uh, from you standing at the fire department with some firemen that can verify that your apartment got burned down. The pictures that you have posted. Look, you know, this is the cyber world, okay? And I want to say that K Small really taught me a lesson. And the lesson, it's embarrassing, but I told you that I would come out and post a video publicly stating that I was wrong. I'm not going to say that I was wrong about whether the fire happened or not. I was wrong because, and this is to you, Jeremiah. I don't even have to ask you, and I was going to leave a question to you on your channel asking why you raised the amount. I don't, it, I don't need the answer. I don't need the answer. It was enough for me to delete my video that I reposted, and the lesson that I learned from K. Small is I repost too quickly people who need help. I don't know how it is that I even trust anyone. And the scammers that we have seen, you know, I, I go with, I don't want them changing me. I don't want them changing my heart. And when I think, okay, 
someone needs help, they haven't documented the proof, I don't want to live in a world. I want to live in a world where people are actually telling the truth and we don't need to document everything. But that's not the world that we live in. It's so not. So the lesson that I learned from K. Small is unless someone can document to me their need or I know them so I know that they are telling the truth and I know that what they are saying actually happened I can't I won't do this anymore we don't live in a trusting world I feel like bursting into tears because these lies I've said it over and over again how important it is for all of us in this quote-unquote truth community to be honest we've got to be proactive in establishing trust and and whether or not that fire happened Jeremy you have broken my trust by raising the amount. There's a greed there. You know, you look at these guys, you listen to their the tone of voice, you you see that uh, they are all about Christ. And we all have our issues <laughs> that we have to work out and hate gets us nowhere and a lot of people have not gotten the distinction between hate and people expressing frustration or anger or um, whatever but there is a distinction and that is lost on a lot of people. Nuance doesn't really uh, it's not really on people's radar and there is a nuance that I was talking about in my video when I comment when I posted the video in response to the comments that I was getting so many presumptions made and th it was so filled, they were so filled with such hate, with, with such cruelty. And I wasn't just simply talking about Jeremiah. I was talking about these presumptions that people make. And it's very, very important for people to catch the presumptions that they make before they communicate them as <clears throat> I heard Kay Small do. She's asking questions, hard questions. None of that, you know, in, in this world, this is what people should be doing. And yes, it is what I should have done. before posting a video and there are a lot of people who can uh, speak as if something happened and they kind of transcend a and honesty and it's not the fire could have happened but there's something very wrong with upping your amount and that's all I need now does that mean that we now have to discharge it's now okay to discharge 
our hate and cruelty and all of that? No. No. Anybody who is a scammer, a liar, this is all learned behavior. We learn how to operate in this world because of our upbringing. It goes back to that past that so many people just want to ignore. But the past is always with us. So if we don't resolve those issues that we have from that past, that past is so controlling the individual. And they will end up doing, they will end up behaving in ways controlled by that past, hurting other people, and helping to manifest a nightmare that now exists. So, you know, for all of those scammers out there, I never feel betrayed by someone who scams. Well, that's not true. I do feel betrayed. But I don't feel uh, badly or think something is wrong with me because I donated or believe them initially um, because I, I do think that it's important to have a, a good heart. <laughs> and when, when you're trying to operate in the world with that good heart, yeah, you get so hurt an awful lot. But do I want the liars to change me? Do I want them to make my heart cold? I don't want that. So I don't want to throw everybody under the bus. I want to look at every individual case. And here, yeah, you, you know, disciples of Jesus Christ or the, the name of Jeremiah's YouTube. It is Disciples of Jesus Christ. Um, and you hear, you know, this soft voice. And yes, you see the child. You know, look, I have gone through so many experiences that I desperately needed help. And I needed help from strangers. And I posted videos in the midst of the emergency. And while my situation was easy to check out because I'm recalling one where my wallet got stolen and I was in Michigan and I didn't have anyone at my back and I had my car in the Honda dealership in uh, Michigan and but I posted you know, with the Honda dealership card and said, call them. And a subscriber did call them. So it worked out for me, but how do we get people to do the right thing? How do we help all of these people who are really hurting. And when we have people, yeah, like you, Jeremiah, who, you know, you've posted two videos on these firemen at an apartment complex. You're to be posting a video today about or proving that there was a fire and that you're going to be showing the fire report. And I hope you show it with your name, your address, and leave the number of the apartment complex so that 
people can call and verify that your apartment was burned down. But even with that verification, Jeremy, I took down my video based on you raising the amount to $25,000. Now, a lot of people have said 15000 was too much and yada, yada, yada. You know, look, I maybe that's right. I don't know. Um, you hear that they got fired from their jobs, Jeremiah and his wife, three days before, I guess, the fire. And, and people do, you know, question that. Coincidence. Look, I understand because I've had so many things happen to me in succession very close in time that put me deeper into my hole. So I get how these things can happen and I also understand how, you know, people can question that. But But it's the raising of the amount. And to me, that shows a greed. <laughs> and you've got issues to work out, Jeremy. Jeremiah, sorry. Um, and if you really are a Christian for Christ, you better work on those issues. You better work on those issues. I I hope you understand the distinction between coming out asking questions Which, which puts a neutral or good energy into the world versus these comments just so filled with hate and presumption and the examples of, well, this person scammed me so, you know, that we really there are so many people who are in dire need of help and we're living a time that is so complicated and being hit with so many liars and it takes extraordinary energy to not just turn away because we've been scammed before but yes, the vetting needs to be done. The vetting needs to be done. And I want to apologize because I didn't. You know, she talks about RFB not vetting him before he posted the video. And I don't even know, did he reach out to Richie from Boston to, I don't know any of that. I don't really care about any of that. I don't even care now if it's true that your apartment got burned down. You upping the ante was enough for me. Something's wrong. And there were apparently other GoFundMe. I went to one. Somebody linked to it below. I went to one and it had been canceled but it was a fundraiser for his channel and he got $85 so you know people there are people who fundraise for their channels and you know I a lot of people say money has no place in truth well I disagree money has an awful lot of place in truth because money has had an 
awful lot to do with the destruction and the evil that we are living today. And if anybody thinks that uh, that people can continue to do this forever and not ever you know get donations or whatever you can't do it it's just not it's not possible so you know that that didn't sway me but apparently you know as k small points out he started a facebook page to fundraise while he upped his 25,000, up the amount on GoFundMe. Jesus, you know what, people? <sighs> I don't know how to get any trust restored in this world. But the reason why we've gotten here it's not just due to those evil people in positions of power who are deliberately bringing about such a destructive force. It's all of us. We all contribute to this. And when, when you're someone who lies, when you're someone who is greedy, when you are someone who is, um, you know, out there to scam people, you hurt all of us. You really, the ripple effect is so unbelievably destructive. And for all of the people who genuinely need help, not saying, Jeremiah, that you don't need help, but the raising of the amount means that you need more help, and it's not money. It's you working out whatever issues that you have that have brought you to this place, who you are, who you are. And the issue that I have to work on is not vetting properly posting too quickly. I don't know how it is that I've retained this kind of naivete where I still actually do trust people. Considering my background, considering all of the lies, and I'm not talking about the lies, you know, that I was taught or indoctrinated with, inculcated with, you know, socially engineered to believe. I'm talking about all of the lies that I have had to deal with personally. And it's almost, you know, the embarrassing part for me is that it's like, You grew up in New York City. Oh, you think you're street smart. And you're not. You're still, you know, there's this little child who is like so wanting to trust people. And when you find that you just get slammed with lies more and more. Yeah, it's, uh, 
God, this this life has become very, very hard. I don't I just I don't I honestly don't know what to do anymore. This world, it's not gonna get better. People don't care about working on themselves. They just don't. So they'll continue to put out these behaviors and communicate things that only hurt us, that don't help us. And then the ripple effect hurts everybody. Why can't people see this? I don't know. But thank you, K-Small, for teaching me this lesson. We're not going to get anywhere, guys, without the individuals changing themselves. That's the bottom line.